Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Obscure Mics. This is mic number three that I'm going to demo in one day. I had, some, uh, I had some mics to catch up on. So in front of me, I've got the digital reference, uh, basically Audio-Technica AT2020 ripoff. Yeah, that's an AT2020. DR-CX1 by digital reference. Audio-Technica owns digital reference. And apparently this is a rebranded 2020. I got this for $27. So if this is a rebranded AT2020, congratulations to me. I got this for next to nothing. And uh, it does have that AT2020 sound uh, so far. Maybe if you uh, hear something a little different, tell me in the comments. But I think it sounds like the AT2020 with a tad bit tad bit more brightness if I had to classify it with, with a slightly different sound. Maybe that's why it's rebranded as a digital reference. Maybe there's something lacking uh, that that makes this not a true AT2020. Uh, but man, it, it, it sounds okay. I, I don't hear any uh, self noise, nothing real bad. Tiny bit, not much. Uh, and it's a, it's a quality, Mike. You can tell by the heft and the grill, um, it is, it's an AT2020, man. There may be something a little off about it, but through and through, this thing is identical. Same sloped out front and back, uh, right there at the bottom of the front and back of the grill. It's got that slope just like the AT2020. And uh, this is usable. Uh, this is a little less bright uh, than the Steinberg STM01 uh, that review video that came out before this this is a little brighter and i didn't like it this adds a little less brightness so it's okay proximity effect is uh definitely better than that steinberg i got you got next to nothing on the proximity effect there i'm not using a pop filter hopefully the the plosives aren't coming through too bad uh but yeah digital reference uh d again i have to look man drcx1 because it's obscure as shit obscure digital reference i i don't never really used the digital reference mic on anything i have i've had one i didn't use it didn't sound very good this sounds okay sounds pretty solid uh for the price of 27 dollars really solid uh, again xlr condenser microphone phantom power needs to be used with this just like the last review i did or last demo of the steinberg gotta have some phantom power running in this sucker but yeah sounds pretty good AT2020, I can hear it, man, just a little bit brighter. So the digital reference, if you can go grab this for 40 bucks or less on the red light, green light, yellow light, red light special. You want to sing some TLC? No, I can't do it. So on this mic, would I recommend this mic? Would I give it the green light or am I going to give it the yellow or the red, the yellow meaning? It's up to you. Can't, can't fault you either way. If you take it, no big deal. If you turn it down, no big deal. Uh, $27 is what I got this for. And I believe I got if reverb, 27 bucks. So if you can find this for $30 or less shipped, shipping and all, I got it 27 shipped. Green light all day. Green light all day. This is not a bad mic at all. So there you go. If you want to use this for podcasting, Maybe some light voiceover, uh, demo vocals. May, may, it might be good for, for vocals uh, a, a little more than a demo, but I, I need a little more. You know, still a little top-heavy on the high for me, but good mic, man. $27. I may just keep this one uh, as a backup because $27, just like Wu-Tang says, ain't nothing to F with. Ain't nothing to F with. If you like this mic, go out, pick it up definitely worth 27 bucks so don't overpay for it and if you want an at2020 but don't want to pay, pay the price there you go digital reference at2020 clone just maybe a little bit brighter go grab it peace out obscure mics